put this around me like this. And this is good for all those stuff that you have to carry around with you. It's a nurse medical assistant fanny pack. It's good to put your pens in and things like that because like I said, you're gonna be running around a lot. Hey, thank you for visiting my channel, Medical Assistant with Miss K. So today I'm doing something a little bit different. I got a bunch of stuff from Amazon that I want to share. Some things I've recently gotten, some things I've gotten um, a little while ago. So I wanted to do a video about some must-haves that you should have as a new medical assistant and even as a new nurse because, you know, we um, use a lot of the same things, um, especially some of the things I'm going to show you in the video today. So everything that I show you today, I am going to link it down below, okay? So if this is your first time visiting my channel, welcome. I'm Miss K. I'm a medical assistant instructor. Um, if this is your um, second or third or fourth time here, welcome back. Thank you again for um, coming. So let's get started. So the very first thing that I'm going to show you, a medical assistant must have. Of course, you know you need a good stethoscope. So I did a um, video um, not too long ago um, showing the stethoscope that I have. Now, I have, I've had several stethoscopes over the years. I did just get a new one. It's, I like to have different stethoscopes because this one, this is my favorite one, definitely by far. If you notice, it's a heart-shaped stethoscope, so I love this. My patients love it. My students love it. And so this is actually my favorite stethoscope. Um, I've had it for years now. You can probably see, you know, I don't know if you can make that out. But anyway, I've had the stethoscope for years. So as a, new, as a medical assistant, period, or as a nurse, you want to have a good stethoscope. And the reason why I have several, just in case... Um, I don't, I don't wear this every single day. Um, you know, so I do have a backup stethoscope, which, um, I don't have, but I did just get a new one. I did just get a new stethoscope set. Now, the good thing about this, now this is sold on Amazon. This is a set. So those of you that's going to school for medical assistant or even nursing, and you don't have a blood pressure cuff and stethoscope that is, you know, um, uh, um, supply for you at school, which a lot of schools do. They do supply that stuff for you, but um, I have had students who have not had anything supplied to them. So this would be something that's perfect for you. I believe this was about $20. I bought, I buy so much stuff off Amazon. I can't even remember, but I'll leave a, um, uh, I'll leave the link and then I'll, you know, I'll leave the price somewhere on the video, but it's about $20 and it includes both the stethoscope. Okay. And it includes the actual blood pressure cup. Now, I will tell you this. This is one of the best um, cheap stethoscopes that I found. Some stethoscopes, you know how they say you get what you pay for. Some stethoscopes, you try to go cheap, you, you will barely be able to hit anything through it. So I don't recommend buying a cheap steth stethoscope. However, if you're in school and this is just, um, you know, your, 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 um, your initial stethoscope, uh, you don't have to go spend a lot of money on it right away. If you have the money, of course, spend it. I will leave some um some some stethoscopes um i'll leave the link to my amazon store and there are some stethoscopes that are a little bit more pricey um but starting out this is good and this is actually a really good stethoscope that you can actually hear through like i've used some and you can't hear anything so even though this is cheap like i said it's about twenty dollars it's still a really good stethoscope this is why i bought another one myself and it comes in different colors i initially ordered pink but um it was discontinued like, i got ordered it i was waiting on shipping shipping kept getting delay but anyway um and then I, then i got an email that it was um that it's that is sold out so anyway this comes in different colors my favorite color has always been purple but for some reason i love pink like i i don't know i i didn't like pink as a child but for some reason i love pink now so i really wanted the pink like i said they didn't have it they had blue red i mean green so many different colors so like i said that will be lit um listed down below as well now the next thing I'm going to show you, yeah, I got so much stuff here I'm about to show y'all. Let's see what else I got here. Now, the next thing I'm going to show you guys, this is a pulse oximeter. This is how you check pulse and um, oxygen at the same time, right? Um, where you work, they may have one there for you, but I like to have my own. For an example, the office that I work at now, you know, we have a couple of them, but the nurses are always using it. And then like my other, the other medical assistant in the office, she uses it, so... I just went on ahead and got my own here. Um, I'll link this down below as well. So this is very affordable. It was just, I can't even remember how much this was, but it was very affordable, you know, very cute. I love it. It has a little case here, batteries here, right? And then you have a strap so you can put it around your, um, your wrist, okay? So this is really cute. 
definitely as a medical assistant, it's good to have you a pulse oximeter. Um, and like I said, you may have them at your job, but this is just in case you want to invest in one like I did. It's very, very cheap. All right, so the next thing that I want to show you guys is a secondhand watch. Why do you need a secondhand watch? Let's see if we can get that to, there you go. Why do you need a secondhand watch? Because when you're checking pulse and respiration, you should have a secondhand watch, right? You know, I know we have smartphones with timers on it, but honestly, that's kind of unprofessional to pull out your phone, right? If I'm checking um, pulse and respiration, you know, and I pull out my phone, my patient will probably be sitting there wondering, like, why is she pulling out her phone? I mean, I can explain. I'm just using this time on here, but it's unprofessional. And then you don't really want your phone out. You know, it's Jeremy. You're in the doctor's office. I keep my phone away unless I absolutely need it, and I'm constantly wiping it off. So you want to avoid your phone being in patient areas anyway. Um, and this is um, a very cheap. Again, got it off Amazon. I'll leave that link down below. They have different colors. I like the white and I love how the numbers are pink. So you definitely want to invest in a secondhand watch. This is something that I tell all my students. If you don't already have a secondhand watch, I mean, you can get these so cheap. I mean, you can invest in a good one, but this is this right here would do the job. It's cute. You know, it's it's not cheap to the point where I got to worry about it, you know, breaking down on me tomorrow. OK, so this is definitely something that you want to have for checking pulse and respirations. All right, so these next couple of things I'm about to show you, these are kind of optional, but if you're like me and you drink coffee, you're going to love these. Or even if you drink tea or hot chocolate or whatever you drink in the mornings, these are going to come in handy. So these are a couple mugs that I thought were so cute and I just had to get them. So this says medical assistant only because full-time multitask and magical unicorn is not an actual job title. In other words, multitasking magical unicorn because as a medical assistant we do a lot a lot a lot right we do a lot of work in the office we're here we're there we're assisting the doctor bringing back patients you know giving injections drawing blood we do so many different things and some of us even work the front desk as well as the back office so right? i'll leave this link below as well this is in my amazon store as well i thought that was really cute all right, so this next mug, like I said, I'm a mugger. I have so many mugs, and I have several personalized mugs. And when I saw this, I just had to get it. Now, if you are a medical assistant or a nurse, this would be perfect because it has a cute little stethoscope on it, and you can get it personalized. So when you order it on Amazon, they just ask you what you want to go on it. I just got my name there. Um, and they, they have so many different mugs on Amazon that are just so cute. It actually took me a while to figure it out. But what made me get this mug, um, first of all, I can interchange this um, this top with another mug, another personalized mug that I have. So I wanted to get that because I, I don't know what happened to that top. I lost it. So I wanted to be able to use that mug sometimes too and use this top. And another reason would make, uh, why I choose this mug was because the other ones were taller. Um, and so if you guys use a Keurig or, um, or one of those coffee machines, you notice when your cup is too tall, it can't sit up under to catch your coffee. So that's what made me choose this. I mean, you can always use a smaller cup and then just, you know, empty the, the, the coffee or tea or whatever into the bigger mug. But I just thought this was the perfect size. I will leave some pictures, some, some pictures of the other mugs and other cups that I have on my Amazon store. But this right here was the winner for me. So again, if you're a coffee or tea drinker, this is perfect for you. All right, another item that is optional but very cute. I've been using these for years. Patients love them. They are these syringe ink pens. Look at this. Every time I'm at work and my patients see me writing with these, they love it. And I love that these come in different colors. So this one isn't really hard to find. These, I've been using the red ones for years. Like I'm able to find them in the, um, in the um, scrub store. So when I went on Amazon and I saw that they had different colors, like the yellow one, green and blue, I said, oh my goodness, I have to buy it. It comes four in the pack. And guess what? They also come with these highlighters as well. I haven't opened the highlighters yet because I haven't had to use them, but they come with highlighters as well. Look at that. Now they do have an option if you want to just get the pens. They do have that. So that's, you know, if you feel like you don't need the highlighters, that's fine. But if you're in school and you're taking notes, like this is perfect for you. So I definitely 
recommend this. I thought these were so cute. You know, when you're taking notes and things like that, you may want to color code certain things when you're taking your notes and stuff like that. So um, definitely check this out. These are these are so cute. Patients love them. My co-workers love them. I love these pens. And speaking of pens, one thing that I don't have that I do have on my Amazon store that I definitely recommend are little notepads. And I'll leave that um, a picture of it somewhere in this video too. Um, you want to have some notepads to be able to, first of all, um, take notes when you go on your externship site, right? I always tell you guys, have a little notepad, have a pen and a little notepad um, so you can take notes while they're, you know, explaining everything to you. And you want to have a notepad for when you're bringing your patient back, right? So even though most of the places now, most offices now uh, are electronic, you do still need notepads because you need notepads to, you know, you may bring your patient back and you may, some, some offices have like a vital signs room or triage room. And that's where you bring your patient to, you know, get all of the information from them. And you will write it on a notepad before you take it back to your desk to enter it into the computer. So having notepads are, is good. And the pack that I have in my store, they actually come with several. They're cute. Um, they are they are nurse notepads. So even if, so, whether you're a medical assistant or an actual nurse, they're great to have. So a lot of this stuff here that I'm showing you, these are perfect for if you're in school, maybe just about to start school, and if you're already working as a medical assistant. That's why I wanted to show you guys this stuff because these are things that are evergreen. You're always going to need pens. You're always going to need a watch. You're always going to need a stethoscope. You're always going to need a mug to drink your coffee or your tea. So I'm hoping you are finding this video helpful. If you are, go ahead and give it a like for me. All right, so the next thing that I want to show are some masks. Now, I buy these masks anyway for me and my daughter. We love bling. I have bling everything. Bling in my car, bling on my keychains. I just love bling hat, bling. I just love bling. So you want to have some, um, some nice, cute masks. Now, depending on where you work, you may only be able to wear a certain type of mask. Some places only want you to wear the paper mask, some mask, some some offices you can only wear the N95. So, you know, if you're able to wear these over those paper masks or N95 masks, then these will be cute to accessorize your scrubs. They come in a pack of six, all different kinds of colors. And um, so you have white here and they're nice and bling. So if you look at those, hopefully you can see the bling on those. So they come in different colors. My daughter and I, we love these. So I buy them. She's she often loses hers, so I find myself re up. And look at that! I love that. I love some bling. So we'll pick, we'll pick through these to see which I'll see which one she want, and um, I'll just keep the one she doesn't want. So that's those. I just thought this was really cute. It says "MA." This is a mouse pad, so this is cute to put on, you know, at your desk. It says "MA" there, and you can have it at your desk at work or even at home or wherever. All right, last but definitely not least, we cannot do a video of medical assistant must-haves or nurse must-haves without scrubs, right? Here's a black um, pair. So these are the pants here. Um, I am a small, so I get small in everything. I don't know if you happen to be watching this and you look like, you, you know, I'm your size. You feel like I'm and maybe your size. You may want to go ahead and go with the small in case you were wondering what size you should order. So this is that, this is the top here. So this is black. So depending on where you work, your job may operate on a color code system, right? When it comes to scrubs. Um, one office that I worked in, nurses wore blue, um, medical assistants wore, um, actually medical assistants, we wore, um, nurses wore blue. And I think medical assistants, we had to wear, I know it was solid colors. I can't even remember, but I know for a fact the nurses wore blue because I remember being mad because I love my blue scrub. So I can't remember. But anyway, you may work somewhere where they require you to wear a certain color, which is fine. Maybe black, blue, whatever. Um, but if you're working in an office where they don't care what kind of scrubs you wear, then that's even better because then you can mix and match. All right. This next set that I'm going to show you is red. I love my red scrubs. I have had people compliment me on wearing red. Um, somebody told me that this is my color. So I was like, okay, I like to wear red anyway. So I was like, okay, thank you. I appreciate it. I love these. Oh, I love these. This is so cute. I love these scrubs. Look at this. They all have pockets. Don't get no scrubs with no pockets. I made a mistake one time and bought scrubs with no pockets. You, as a medical assistant, you're running around all day and 
picking up stuff and doing stuff. You need to throw your pens in your pocket and the pulse oximeter in your pocket. You need pockets. Don't ever get skirts with no pockets. This one I love because this has several pockets on both sides. Look at that. Several pockets on both sides of the top as well as several pockets in the pants. Look at that. Pockets here, pockets there. And it's so cute. I love this. Again, if you wear color-coded scrubs, you may not be able to do this, but I hope you work somewhere where you can um, wear different color scrubs. Now, this next item here is definitely a must-have because it's about to be fall. So this is a scrub jacket, okay? Now, this is the jacket that you want to wear over your scrubs. Um, you know, if you're working in a lab, you'll have on a lab coat anyway. Um, but this is a scrub jacket. I'm a type of person, I get cold very easily, so I need... A scrub jacket and they do come in different colors so this one right here oh I love this look at this pink I love this this actually goes perfect with the scrub top that I already have I love this look at it this is so cute now if you're working um, in pediatrics you definitely want to have some colorful scrubs only I say that because kids you know I'm, I've mentioned this in another video but when you're working in pediatrics you'll notice that kids they are already nervous when they come in some kids actually break down crying as soon as they see you. So you want to be as aesthetically pleasing in their eyes. You want to look fun. You want to be as aesthetically, aesthetically pleasing in their eyes as you can. So you want to look fun and colorful and things like that. Now, this is something I will wear anywhere, you know, whether it's pediatrics or wherever. This is just so cute. I love this. Again, I get cold. So this is why I have several um, different jackets. Alrighty, and this is another cute set. I actually forgot all about this set right here. This is a pink set. This is a top. Again, it has pockets. It doesn't have as many pockets as the red one, but I love this. This is so cute. This would actually go perfect with this jacket right here. When I was buying these scrubs, I wanted to make sure I wore, I bought things that I could wear all together. Look at this. This would be perfect to wear over this. So this is the top here, and then these are the bottoms. I love drawstring scrubs because then you can make them tighter or looser if you need to. So this is those. This is the pink. I love this pink. And they had other colors as well. So everything that I'm that I mentioned it again, I said I'll, I'll post it in the in the description. So you'll notice when you click on the link, you don't have to necessarily buy what I post. You have several different colors to choose from. And I mentioned to you guys that I stay cold, right? So in addition to wearing those scrub jackets, I also buy these shirts. I buy these shirts to wear up under my scrub tops, okay? It's getting cold. It'll be winter before we know it. I don't ever not wear these. <laughs> I need these. up, Even if I have my jacket on, um... I still have the I still wear these. So I can go without the scrub jacket. Scrub jack scrub jackets is something I just put on as an extra layer, right? But this I have all the time. Even honestly, even during the summertime, I do because the air conditioner is always cold. You know, most people there happy to get into the air conditioner. Me, I mean, I love the air. Don't get me wrong. If it's hot, I love the AC. I have the AC on in my house. You know, the office tends to be cold, so that AC is pumping. So you know, even during the summertime, I'm wearing these. And I'll leave the link. You'll notice that they have several different colors. Also, one of the links that you'll see in my store, they have um, packs of three. So this one, I just bought just this one pack because I already have these. So I didn't really need a lot. I just saw this one and I thought this was cute. It was pink. I can wear it under my pink scrubs or, you know, I can even wear it with my black scrubs. So I have a bunch of these. So I didn't need a three pack. But if you're someone that needs to maybe stock up in these, then you can go ahead and grab the three pack. Another thing you want to have are some comfortable shoes, okay? Um, Crocs, definitely. Crocs are good. I, I have some of those in my Amazon store. I don't have any to show here. But depending on where you work, you may or may not be able to wear open toe Crocs. So um, check out, um, you know, you know, find out what your, what your externship site or what your job says as far as Crocs, whether they can be open toe or not. But you can never go wrong with some closed toe. But anyway, these are some shoes I initially bought to work out in, but I wear them. So I work in the office um, PRN as needed. So I go in sometimes and I've been wearing these shoes and they are so comfortable. So I do have some tennis shoes that I can work out in. So I'll just say those, keep using those other tennis shoes and just continue to wear these while I'm working. So I love these so much that I end up buying another pair, but this time I bought pink 
So these are actually really cute as well. I have not worn them yet, but I'm looking forward to. These are really cute. So they have different colors. So if you check out the link, you can always pick the ones out that, you know, you, the color you prefer. So definitely want to have some nice, comfortable shoes because you will be on your feet all day, ripping and running, running back and forth. You definitely want some comfortable shoes. One thing that was left off was this fanny pack, okay? I'm going to put this around me like this. And this is good for all those stuff that you have to carry around with you. It's a nurse medical assistant fanny pack. It's good to put your pens in and things like that because, like I said, you're going to be running around a lot. So this is good for this. Put your pens in. Tissue. I don't know if you got tissue. That can go in there. Your notepads. All of that can go in this one right here. All right, guys. So thank you for watching this video. I hope that it was helpful. Again, everything will be linked down below in the description. And, you know, let me know what you think about the scrubs, what you think about everything else that I showed you here today. And if you're in school, your school may supply you with scrubs, may or may not. But either way, that is something you definitely want to start looking into um, because that's something that you're going to need. Like you're going to have to wear scrubs. And then you may also, like some of my students I know have waited to see where they end up working and see if they will have to wear solid colors, only one color or, you know, so that's an option. So you can always wait if you're still in school. All right. So if you have any questions or video suggestions, feel free to email me. That'll be down below as always. Also, you can comment down below. Thank you again for visiting my channel. Be blessed.